So we're ready to look at the menu manager and how to manage your menus. But before we start, keep in mind that I'm working with a default Joomla installation and I installed the sample data. So um, you're, um, you may or may not have the same types of menus, uh, the, same, the same menus that I have on this installation, but how to manage them, uh, the principles and the steps are the same. So you can go to Menu Manager or you can also go to Menus here. And again, this, sub, this is the main Menu Manager. This is if you, you, know, you, you delete uh, a menu. It keeps it in the trash unless you empty it. So that's a very safe uh, little uh, option there. You can restore it if you need to. And then here are the different menus that come by default installed uh, and configured in Joomla. So let's go first to the menu manager. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see uh, the name of the menu and the menu type and the number of items that are in that, uh, that menu. And if you open that, if you wanted to, um, you, th again, you hold your cursor over right here and it's going to uh, show you this right here. So. Uh, you don't really you don't want to change this unless you also know how to change things in your Joomla template because as you can see here it says this is the name used by Joomla to identify this menu within the code so it must be unique so if you change that and then you didn't change it in your template uh, it, it wouldn't work so uh, this is more for a reference for you so I want to close that and um, we're going to look about we're going to look into how to create a new menu item in the next screencast. But so that's the manager. But to see the items that are actually in a in a, one of your menus, you open it down here. So I'm going to open up the main menu, and here you will see uh, all of your main uh, menu items. And then if they have any sub menu items, you'll see it's like indented here, right there, and. Um, and you can see the type, which again we'll look uh, when we look into the uh, the different types of articles and content items and how to create a new menu item. This will make more sense. But for now, this is just a reference. This is all. This is this is connect. This is uh, a link to an article, an article uh, in the article category. Uh, this is uh, articles and a category and a blog. So this is just the type of menu uh, that you have here which will make more sense when we actually create a new menu item. And if you open one of these, if you want to change the title that shows up in your main nav, in, in the nav, you can just do it here. So I wanted to make this just Joomla. And you might also want to change the alias too. You probably do. So you can just change that there. Or if you wanted to make this item, um, you know, if you wanted to move it under, um, you wanted facts, FAQs to be its parent item. You could you could uh, select a parent item here and move it underneath there. Uh, whether it's published or not, yes or no. And, and again, this if if you uh, want to give uh, menu items to act to be accessible only by your registered users, for instance, you could click that, and that menu item would only show. Uh, to registered users who are logged into your site. And in general, you want to leave this uh, by default uh, parent window with browser navigation uh, because these are all links in your own site. So you don't want it to be opening a new window every time someone clicks on one of your menu items. And uh, over here again, this is uh, the, the section. These are, you know, really, I think this is closed when you open it, yeah. So you can open that. And there's a lot of different options here that you can explore because it really explains it to you by just holding your cursor over each of these. But to open them up, you just click on that little arrow. And um, again, this is all very self-explanatory. So I just recommend that you go in and just hold your cursor over each of these things uh, if you want to change the settings for any menu item. Uh, same for the parameters. Just uh, you know, hold your cursor and explore that. It'll really make very, it's very, very simple. So good luck, and in the next screencast, we're going to actually create a new menu item. Bye.